Do you have a calculator um, for yes, access I, to one? Okay, you yes, want to do that. All right, a math student is standing 25 feet from the base of the Washington Monument. This is the Washington Monument, if you're not sure what that is. The uh, uh, angle of elevation from her horizontal line of sight is 87.4. If her eye height is five feet, how tall is the monument? Okay, normally I have students set these up, but this one is a little bit awkward. They're, they're actually doing it the right way, which is you're, you're here and your, your eye, eye line is, is out horizontally to the monument. Actually, let me get a little closer here. Um, and then there is, there is a right triangle here. You see that? Yeah. Okay. okay. Now, um, I'm going to do this. I'm going to label this A, B. This is big A. Oops, that's wrong. Big B, big A. Can you tell me where 25 goes and where 87.4 goes? In okay, this so the 25 would be A. Uh, little A. Yeah, little A. Yes. Um, yeah. And then the 87.4 would be angle B. Okay, very good. All right, now when we find B, we have to take B and add five to it because she is she is five feet tall here. Okay. Because uh, the, the triangle we're building isn't quite the entire monument. Um, so we want to find B relative to this angle. What is A and what is B? And I think we're having this discussion the other day. The, the answers are, or the options are adjacent, opposite, hypotenuse. Okay, so we're... Which one are we finding? Well, I'm asking you, like, what is A? What is B? Are they, is it the adjacent? Is it the hypotenuse? Is it the opposite relative okay. to this angle? Okay, so A is adjacent and B is opposite. All right, so which trig function uses adjacent and opposite? Uh, tangent. Tangent. So it's the tangent of 87.4 equals the opposite, which is B, over the adjacent, which is 25. That's the, the TOA, if you will. Okay. So this can be solved for a B by multiplying both sides by 25 to clear this fraction. Okay. So you multiply both sides by 25, go to your calculator, get a value for B, and then you add, uh, you're gonna add five to it. All right, so go ahead and uh, uh, put that in the calculator. If, um, if make sure your calculator mode is in degrees, that's a big thing here. Okay, it says 550.5. Okay, and then you're going to add the five to it. So 555.5. So I get, yeah, I get 555.5 feet. And I don't even know if that's true. I mean, it's pretty tall, but it's not as tall as a building. So tall building. So that seems okay. Any questions on that? No, that makes sense. It was the five feet part that was tripping me up. Yes. Great. All right. Um, next problem here. All right, so it says a 25-foot uh, a flagpole casts a 42-foot shadow. Normally, this picture wouldn't be given. I mean, it's nice that it is given. What is the angle that the sun hits the flagpole? We presume that's x, I guess. Um, this is, again, one of those sine, cosine, tangent problems. Like You have to decide relative to this angle here, what is 25, what is, what is 42? It's adjacent and opposite again. The tangent again. So this time it's tangent of X. We don't have the angle equals opposite 42 over 25. Okay. So this one's different. It's different because you're now solving for an angle. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we covered this. Do we talk about how to undo one of the trig functions here? You do like the arc tangent or like the arc. That's right. That's right, arctangent, 42 over 25. 
uh, that's, you know, I believe that's like the second uh, option on the tangent on your calculator there. Um, go ahead and calculate that for us around to, um, I don't know, one decimal place. I'm just making it up since it doesn't say. Okay, 59.2. Okay, and then we need the degree symbol there. Mm -hmm. um, although I guess it's there. So X is 59.2, but the whole angle is 59.2 degrees. Very good. All right, that's uh, pretty good here. Number three. All right, uh, E is standing on top of a building, 50 foot building. Okay, and sees her friend Molly. If Molly is 30 feet away from the base of the building, what is the angle of depression from E to M? E's eye height is 4.5 feet. All right, so the, the thing that might be good to do here, and, and I was maybe gonna suggest that in the other problems, but you gotta draw a triangle almost like there's almost like distractions here. And mm -hmm. you you just label the stuff you care about. 30 for that. The height though is not 50, it's 50 plus the 4.5. Mm -hmm. So 54.5. Right. Yeah. And and they really want the angle of depression, which happens to be the same as as X. Mm -hmm. Okay. So once it's set up here, you solve uh, for x the same would way we this, did in the last problem. Would this be tangent as well? Yes. Yes. And so this one, um, I'll let you calculate it and I'll, I will as well, but you can you can give me your uh, your answer there when you got it. Sixty-one point two degrees. Yes, and the angle of depression is the same as the angle of elevation in this case. So that is that is the answer there. Okay. Sometimes when you go back to problems that you know from the past, they're not as difficult as they first appeared because you've you've been doing uh, harder problems since then. So I'm not surprised that we're going through this so quickly. I guess. Mm -hmm. You've seen this before. All right, I got the next one downloaded here. All right. Okay. Using the information from the image, what is the angle of elevation? They want X from the sailboat to the top of the lighthouse. Uh, again, might be good to draw a separate triangle. This is X. The uh, hypotenuse is 360. And the height is the sum of those 168. So this time you will not be using tangent. You will be using a different trig function. Which one uh, makes sense to use here? Mm -hmm. Cosine or sine. Right? Yes, cosine or sine. So, katoa, you know, which one maps to what you have? You're, relative to x, you have the hypotenuse and the opposite. So, it would be sine. It would be sine. It's the sine of the unknown angle equals what over what? What goes on the top? What goes on the bottom? Okay, so sine over sine x equals. Um, 168 over 360. Good. And then you're using arc sine this time to solve for, for X. Okay. So that comes out to... Twenty-seven point eight. Twenty-seven point eight degrees. Very good. 
All right. Um, does this seem difficult at all to you? It's just like whenever there's like that height thing, it's always like I, I, when it's like worded without it, it like kind of messes me up. Got it. Yeah. The, uh, the really the nice thing here is all of these come with a picture. I'm used to students sending me problems like these without the picture. And that really is a lot of challenge for most students, like how to, mm -hmm. how to solve the triangle without it. All right. So the angle of elevation formed by the ground and the airplane is 23 degrees. Notice that's given there um, at the bottom here. Complete the triangle with the missing angle, the hypotenuse, and the adjacent leg. All right. Um, we should first find the missing angle because it's probably the easiest thing to find based on what you're given. The sum of the angles in a triangle, what do they add up to? 180. Yeah. So that is, that's pretty nice. Excuse me. This one is 90. So the other two have to also add up to 90. Can you give me the value of this other angle? Uh, 67. 67, yeah. Now we don't normally find the other angle, but if you look back at all the other problems we did, like, well, let me go back to, I think the first one here. When they give you an angle, you can always find the other angle, but usually you don't need it. So that's why we didn't, we don't normally calculate it, but here they are saying like, give, give the missing angle. So to find X and Y, you're gonna use, you will be using one of the trig functions, you know, sine, cosine, tangent, and so on. Um, you have to decide which one you want to use and why. And, and you can either start from the 23 or the 67. Like maybe one stands out to you as you like it better. Um, there's not a right or wrong answer here. I would just use law of signs for the 23 degree. Okay. okay. Yeah. The 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 law of signs is best used for non-right triangles. For non-right triangles? Yes. Um, and while it does work here, it really is over, over it's, it's extra. Like, um, I think we did, we made this like sort of mapping last time, which is like when you have a right triangle, you have Pythagorean theorem, and then you have a sine, cosine, and tangent. And, and what I was trying to, was trying to say here is if you, if you're drawn to the 23, you can use the tangent of 23 equals 2,500 over Y to solve for y as one example. Okay. Or yeah. if you if you're if you want to find x first, you could do the sine of 23 equals 2500 over x. But if you're drawn to the 67, if you just, you know, the, not a wrong answer here, you can you can say the cosine of 67 equals 2500 over x. The sine of 67. Sorry, that wouldn't work. Um, sorry, I got this wrong here. The tangent of 67 equals y over 2500. Okay. And and that the point, like like any of those are gonna work. You just have to like, you know, we, we all see problems a certain way. You you pick here what you what you see. Okay. Let's, we'll just do the tangent and the sine one. The ones on the left here? Yeah. Okay, that's fine with me. Do you remember how we solved for a variable in the bottom, how to get that out of the bottom? Yeah, so you just multiply it out and then you would divide on both sides and then divide the other side. Yes. So yes. the tangent of 23 equals 2,500 divided by Y and then Y equals 2,500 divided by 10. 23. Yes, said perfectly. Okay, go ahead and uh, calculate both x and y here for us, please. Okay.
Okay. So for Y, I got 5,889.6 meters. Okay. I agree. And then for X, I got 6,398.3 meters. Yes. Yeah, so uh, like the, the the reason I'm I'm like really shying away from using the law of, law of science here is not because it doesn't work. It's because it's 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 the wrong tool for the job, and you you may get into a scenario like in another class, and you don't want to use like something that's too you know too complicated for what what you're given. Mm -hmm. So law of sines, law of cosines are for non non right triangles. Okay, so here we go. Six through ten, or I'm sorry, six through whatever. Uh, now there's no. Uh, oh, I guess they. Oh, uh, they're referring to this other diagrams. I see. Thought we're gonna have to draw some pictures finally. Um, Seventy-five foot building casts an eighty-two foot shadow. What is the angle that the sun hits the building? If you want, you can go back to the the diagram. It really doesn't matter I how think it's. I think it'll be good practice to draw. Exactly. And that's what I was going to ask you to do here is, 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 you know, and, and you, if you're more of the one on the right, that's fine. Uh, but it's, it's A, B, C, you know, big B, big A, you know, whichever one you see it as. Uh, go ahead and give that a try labeling it appropriately, please. Okay, so for little a, I have 82. Okay. And then for little b, I have 75. And then okay. we're solving for angle a, I think. Uh, solving well, for b. Well, I, that's where I guess we got to go back and look at the drawing because it's it's kind of unclear which angle it's making. Uh, oh, is it solving for like the angle of depression? Pretty well, much? it says to look at number two, right? Mm -hmm. So that's this angle right here. Okay. So I was just like thinking in terms of the sun. If it was I, I, yeah. And, and I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm saying like, I, I'm going back to look because it's not written clear where it's for sure, you know, one or the other. So, but it is this one based on example two. Okay. So okay. for this one, would I use the law of cosines to find the other side? Not needed, not needed. Not needed? Yeah. Because I'm just looking for the angle. So I would just use um, tangent to yes. find? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so yeah. the tangent of angle A is 82 over 75. Yes. And then you take the arc tangent. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think a lot of this is just like me overcomplicating it. Yes, I, uh, I'd like to get a buzzer for every time you say law of cosines, we can, <laughs> we can say, nope, not, not law of cosines. And that's what happens when you when you've seen new things. You you know they sometimes do apply to the old stuff, and you you know wonder why you can't use it or why they didn't tell you that before. Okay, I got forty seven point six degrees. Excellent. All right, so let's look at number seven. Um, why don't you try drawing this, and you draw it however you want. It is a right triangle. These are all right triangles. Um, when you when you think you've got it, I'll draw uh, the triangle and uh, we'll compare. Okay. Okay.
Okay, I think I got it. All right, so does your triangle look like this one on the left or this one on the right? The one on the right. Okay. All right, so uh, one of the issues here is miles and feet. Yeah. You have to convert one to the other. So they're in, in one mile, there are 5,280 feet. So if you put two down the bottom, it's not wrong. You just have to put, you have to put. Uh, so instead it would be 10,560. Yes. And you're solving for this angle there. Does that okay, match sure. what you have? Yes. Okay. Now, before you solve it, tell me if you're, what you're going to use, sine, cosine, or tangent, please. Tangent. Yes. Okay, I don't know if it's right because it's super small. Okay, uh, what do you what do you got? It just says it just says one point six three. Yeah. Um, now, are, are you driving currently? Yes. So think about uh, two miles mm -hmm. that you you might drive. You know, say from your house or uh, to, you know to school or to friends wherever you're going. Three hundred feet is a pretty substantial drop in elevation. So when, when you're driving, you don't, you wouldn't necessarily see that much. Like this is not to scale is the point. Um, the, when you're out driving, you, you might go up, you know, and like 50 feet would be a lot to go up and down. So that's why the angle is so small. Cause it's just, it's just so minimal. Like you wouldn't even notice. Oh, okay. I was like, I was like, ah, what like, have, you like you ever, if you've ever driven up uh, Craycroft or Swan North, mm -hmm. I mean, those are probably like a hundred feet rise in elevation. They're not, they, they feel like they're a lot, but they're not, it's not that much actually. Mm -hmm. So, and does that help? Yeah, that, that helps. I was confused. Okay. I thought yeah. I did something wrong. Yeah, uh, sometimes the answers don't mean much, um, but, uh, and then sometimes you get scenarios like eight here where, I mean, maybe if you've never been diving or sailing, you know, you're not, not quite sure, but these are all right triangles. All right triangles. So try drawing some sort of right triangle to indicate this situation, and uh, I will I will do the uh, the same. Okay. Okay, I think I got it. I'm not sure though, because you know, like I don't dive. So yeah. Um, I don't, I don't so does your triangle look at all maybe like this possibly or yes. Okay, that's fine. So 65 feet below the water. That's what this means. Yes. The kind of the oddity here is that you, you're supposed to because this, this person swims, so they're, they're swimming sort of this direction. That's why the hypotenuse is one. Okay, that's what I thought because I didn't think that you would like swim directly down, but like also you could do that potentially. So, well, yeah, it, it, that's another way to like it would have to be worded where it says uh, like a diver spots something 142 feet away, but then dives straight down 65 feet. Mm -hmm. So, again, this is not to scale. In fact, like this is poorly drawn, but like this would be a better. 
a better drawing, but I like, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. So okay. don't, don't get too caught up in like. So then we're also solving for the angle of elevation, but this, which is the same as angle. Of yes. Yes. Okay. You're, you're solving for this X down here. Okay. So if you want to try solving for that, let me know so, what you uh, come up or, or yeah. is it, is it sine, cosine or tangent also, I guess we should talk about. I believe that it's sine. It is. Okay. Okay, I got 27.2 degrees. Uh, I think that's right. Yes. All right, so good job on that. Um, drawing the triangle is the hardest part of doing this. This problem is like number one. Um, so I don't know if it's exactly like number one, but it's pretty similar. Um, do you wanna try setting up the triangle for this one? Sure. Okay, I think I got it. All right, did you draw the building to the right here like this or the other way? The other way. I'm a like, lefty, so it's like always. Okay, no, that's what I'm asking because I'll draw it the way you, uh, you you want it. So it's like it's like the one on the right or the I'm sorry. This Which way one did... that you have out, yes. Th this one here, sorry, just one more time. Is it this one? Yes. Okay, all right. So the, uh, the building is on the left. Uh, Sam, you know, little stick figure here, he's six feet tall and he's a hundred feet from the base of the building and mm -hmm. the angle to the top of it from his eye to be 50 degrees, okay? Does that match your drawing? Yes. Okay, are we solving for A or C in this problem? We're solving for A. Yes. And whatever I get for A, I have to add six to it, right? Very good. Okay. All right, so go ahead and do that. And um, Okay, 
I got 125.2 feet. Ooh, we got something different here. Did you write a uh, sign? No, that's why I made the mistake here. It's tangent 50. Okay, yes. Uh, so is your, your total answer is 125.2 feet? Mm -hmm. Yes, good. Right. Let's see here. Yeah, we'll be able to get, we should be able to get through all these. So we'll get to number 10 next. Um, all right, over four miles, horizontal, a road rises 200 feet vertically. Uh, again, there's going to be an issue with unit conversions. So you want to probably turn this into feet. Do you want to solve this completely for me? Um, asking, ask me some questions if you have any along the way. Sure. Okay, I got 0 0.54 degrees. Okay, um, that is, yes, 0 0.54 is correct. I was, I was about to say, wow, that doesn't seem very, <laughs> that doesn't seem right, but yeah, right. <laughs> it, it is, it is okay. Um, all right, so here is a new problem here. Um, the 90 foot building casts 110 foot shadow. Are we solving for angle uh, X or Y in this problem or other? 110 foot shadow. I think we're solving for angle Y. Yes. And that's based on what we saw in, in uh, one of the earlier problems here. So this is tangent of Y equals 110 over 90. Y is the arctangent, or tan inverse 110 over 90. Okay. Okay, Y equals 50.7 degrees. Yes. Very good. All right. Uh, so I want to get to number 12 just to make sure I have enough time for 12 uh, because it's a new it's a new problem or a new scenario. Um, I, I have to remind myself what it looks like to fly a kite. Mm -hmm. And and you know, I think one of the mistakes is you think you let out the kite here and, and you think maybe it's straight up, but actually the wind blows, right? And so the reality is that your kite is actually always at at an angle. Mm -hmm. So whether you draw it this way or you're, you know, you're more of the, maybe you're, you're this way, the, the amount of string is the hypotenuse in a kite situation. Okay. Okay. So it doesn't matter to me which way you, which triangle you use, but um, go ahead and see if you can label the triangle appropriately. Um, okay. I think that so 400 is the hypotenuse and then um 50 degrees 
will be um, its adjacent angle. So that, yeah. Okay. And are we trying to find uh, A or B? B. Okay. Now you could point this at your instructor. We don't actually know because Luke doesn't hold the kite, I guess, at the ground level. You could say, what's, what's the height of Luke? Um, yeah, that, that's true. That's if you want some extra credit maybe, but because um, we assume he's holding it, you know, at his hand level, but nevertheless, um, go ahead and calculate yes, B. Luke is, Luke is zero feet tall. Yes, yes. He's, uh, you know, face down in the ground. You know, I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm not sure. I mean, that that's if you think your teacher might care that you, you know. It'll just that. be like interesting and then she'll say nothing else. Okay. Well, then maybe save your breath. For, for nice. Oh, well. All right. Okay, so for this for this one, if I'm solving for B, so there's the um, opposite and hypotenuse. So would I yes. be using the sign also? Yes, exactly. Yep. Okay, I got 306.4 feet. Yes. And I think you've been doing this all the time, but units are super important in all these problems that we've been uh, working on today. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, last problem here on this page, um, 18 foot ladder. Um, so unfortunately, like we look at ladders and we we just look at them this way. But in the in these problems, the ladder is always resting against a wall, meaning okay. the ladder is the hypotenuse. Okay. So whether whether you draw you know one on the left, one on the right, the ladder is the hypotenuse here. So go ahead and draw a triangle, uh, label it appropriately, and um, I mean you see if you can solve it here. I'll I'll do the I'll do the same. Okay. How are you doing on this one? Good. I've got 56.3 degrees. You got it. Very good. All right. So uh, close to the end here, I mean, might have enough time for a really quick question verbally, or you got any other thoughts or things, you know? My mom wants to know if she can talk to you. Sure. Yeah. Let me uh, stop the recording here.